<coughs> What's up, my dudes? There's a little challenge for you, boys. <laughs> See if you can pop a willy at the very start and ride it completely around that first corner, never dropping the willy. I think that's going to be pretty difficult. <laughs> but uh, either way, wanted to get in there and check this track out just because this is the, you know, first national track first rf national track of the year i wanted to kind of see where they're at see where their base is at right uh and just kind of see where they end up going with it here i know i'm a little late on this but um still wanted to come in here and check out this first track and then we'll we'll check out some of the newer ones as they start to come out but let, let's not forget what happened last year okay you know, the first couple rounds, totally flat tracking, basically no pre-made. You know, I don't want to give anybody PTSD bringing that back up, but uh, basically this is at least not that, right? It's kind of what I would say about this track right here. At least it's not perfectly glass flat smooth. At least there is some kind of pre-made going on here, right? <laughs> at least there's something here. I always have to kind of say that because... It's like, man, we've just, we've hit the bottoms of the bottoms, the lows of the lows with some of these recent uh, RF tracks over the past couple years, and you, you kind of got to take what you can get, I guess, is what it's basically come down to, so there is pre-made on this track but this is definitely not like a full pre-made track some of you guys that are getting that in your head or you're kind of thinking that uh something wrong with your memory dog you need to go back and ride on some of those actual 17 national tracks in the game and you will see what actual pre-made is to a track right i would call this like somewhere in the neighborhood of like 50 percent pre-made so it's about half of what like a normal 17 normal rut no a road not built for a road type pre-made and roughness is you know back in the days before they were running a road in the game it i think one of the biggest problems with this track is the fact that it's kind of going through that little bit of the syndrome that we went through with the 2020 Daytona track. If any of you guys remember that track, right? It's kind of going through that issue of it's almost like the ruts don't really feel like they flow with the corners to me on this track. It's kind of bizarre, but you guys remember the 2020 Daytona track. It's just kind of, I don't know, there's something weird going on with like the scaling combined with the the way the the t the corners kind of have these weird tight and then the, it's like the the ruts don't really angle to the point to where you can really carry speed through the ruts it's almost like you get in this really you know really stop you really really got to slow down and then like angle the bike in a weird way there it just doesn't have as much like rut flow as a 17 motocross track has on it right just the fact that the ruts just don't really flow as good as I feel like they could with with the way the corners are and part of the reason why that is is because I feel like the entire track is about 10 to 20 percent to cramp down right 10 to 20 percent too narrow the corners are 10 to 20 percent too like cramp down small filling there you only have so much space in a corner to make a rut to make multiple ruts for that matter properly flow through a corner right and when they continue to go down this road of like i guess you could call it like one-to-one -one scale or whatever trying to make it like super super one-to-one -one scale realistic cramp down type track designs you only have so much space there to make the ruts flow with the corner you know what i mean especially this whole section right here this track is definitely built around a road to a certain extent for sure so uh, like i said i don't really know how much they rent how much a road they ended up running on this track or whatever but um i mean the thing about it is guys when it comes to a road in this game it is what it is the development of it is over there a road is what it is there is no more like dreaming about what they might end up, you know, eventually being able to develop a road or turn a road into or update the game to make a road better. All of that's over in the game. 
Let me just pull up my video here on the whole thing, okay? So this was the post by JLV. He says, all I'm going to do is optimize what's there now. The develop slash test cycle for a road is nightmarish and the demands are almost impossible. He says at the very end, it's a fool's errand. I'd rather work on stuff I can actually make progress on. Again, this is the developer of the game. Again, RF, when are you actually going to learn? <laughs> you're, you're literally at this point just directly going against the developer of the game by running a road in the pro racing. That, that's a fact. That's not, that's not even up for debate anymore. Like... Yeah, ha ha, Spence, another road rant. Woo, let's laugh. Let's make some memes. Like, yeah, okay. But really, I've been right about this all along. Some of you guys, that, that kind of hurts deep down. So you got to kind of make a little fuss, try to make a meme out of it, right? Cause, really, because you're getting, you're getting perturbed by the fact that I have been right all along. And that really just doesn't sit well with some of you guys. And you still just can't accept it. And that's really all it is. And so many people in RF specifically have, you know, put all their time into trying to do this. They've tried to make this work. They're tr uh, just everything they can possibly do to try to make this work. And it still is just never really going to going to be what they want it to be. I feel like that's been one of the biggest driving forces behind this whole entire road thing all along is everybody's expectation and hope that one day it can be developed to a point where it's a lot better than what it is right now or where it started right it's all these people dreaming about what it could be what if there was a day that you could have mx simulator with a you know full-blown amazing terrain deformation with cushion and ruts and ruts going up jump faces and realistic and all that you know everybody it's like they're so caught up in that dream that they just it's like they can't let it go they can't let it go man and and i'm on the same boat with you i wish there was a way that we could have an amazing you know terrain deformation system on mx simulator with cushion to the dirt ruts going up the jump faces different kinds of terrain deformation on different kind of dirt compounds you know ruts in the whoops that make really cool ruts like that multiple rut lines in the corners instead of the singular you know motocross berms that it makes in a perfect world yeah i wish we could have that that's what sucks like i i feel like we actually agree but it's it's just like things get so split, you know. My biggest point I'm trying to make the whole time I'm talking about a road on MX Simulator is strictly the fact of the matter is you're dealing with a game from 2007 made by one guy. You're dealing with a game engine from 2007. It's literally impossible to put a modern day terrain deformation system into a game engine from 2007. It's impossible. It's never really going to work. If you continue to act like it's going to work, you're really just pushing back the inevitable. You're really just wasting time. You're really just, it, it's a facade. You're, you're not understanding what it really is. And when the developer of the game comes out and tells you the develop slash test cycle for a road is nightmarish and the demands are almost impossible and he has to literally try to change other parts of the game just to make the road system work better, which is then hurting other parts of the game that were just fine beforehand. It's a fool's errand. He would rather work on things he can actually make progress on. JLV's kind of had this mindset all along, if I'm not mistaken. JLV's not been just, woo, gung-ho, let's do this whole road thing. He's always been sort of against it. It's been RF, the ones that don't really understand deep down to the core of the game engine what, what is capable and what isn't capable. But I can tell you who does know that JLV, the sole developer of the game. That's the person you should be listening to. Period, dog. Like, you know, if you don't want to listen to me, okay, whatever. Don't listen to, you know, one man's opinion. But once you get to the point where you're just ignoring the developer of the game 
and you're just totally going against that, that's just making you look stupid. I, I'm just telling you, that's just making you look stupid. It, there's just nothing more to it than that, man. That's the big thing. Get that idea out of your head that a road is going to keep on getting updated and developed and become this whatever it is you guys have fantasized in your head because that's not going to happen. A road development is over. It's done. It's over. That's it. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is, man. I mean, yeah, you can keep on horsing around doing this whole beta testing thing that you've been doing for the past two and a half years. You know, the whole like, okay, guys, let's try to do this much pre-made and then this much road. Okay, that's not working. Okay, let's see what we can change. Let's see what we can fix. Let's see what we can do. Okay, let's try to do this much pre-made and that much road. Okay, that's not working. Now, what else can we try to do? It, you, you see the endless revolving cycle of that? You don't understand how that's that's never actually going to get anywhere because... All you can do at this point, now that the development of E-Road is over, all you can do is change what's around it, which is the pre-made. That's all you can do. But in reality, all you're really doing is pushing back the inevitable, which is you're eventually going to get to that point where you're just making more and more and more pre-made. And less and less and less a road, and it just feels better and better and better and better. And then it's going to literally be to the point to where you basically have a 2017 RF Outdoor National track pre-made wise with ruts and roughness, right? Just like a 2017 RF National track, but then you just have a little bitty speckle, little bitty micro amount of a road on top of it. And then it's going to be like, okay, what's really the point? That, that's literally the only place you can work yourself into now. That's the only way this thing can really go when you think about it because a road development is over. So it's not going to change. The only thing you can change is what's around a road, which is pre-made. And we've already come to the conclusion that low amounts of pre-made just doesn't work. Right? We already went through all that last year's outdoor series. You can't just have flat tracks and just expect a road to do everything because it doesn't. Okay? So what that means is the only thing you can do is do more and more pre-made. And it's just going to get to that point eventually where you just keep adding pre-made, more and more pre-made, more and more pre-made roughness, and the tracks just feel better and better. You know, and you're kind of, you're stuck. You have to lower the road if you're raising the pre made, or it's just going to be insanity. So that's really the only evolution it can go before it just gets in a, a, a stuck, you know, you're going to hit a plateau. Yeah, you can, you can kind of let it die slow, I guess. We can, you know, kind of keep doing this 50% pre made, 50% of road type deal for another year or two, but eventually. Mark my words, if there's no more development done to a road on MX Simulator from JLV, it will be gone. It will die completely out in the next two years. Mark my fucking words, dog. Mark my words. My point being with all that is, yeah, you can run a road right now, but here in another year or two... When the, the road development has just completely come to a halt, and it's been at a halt for a certain amount of time, and it's just the same old, same old shit, eventually it's going to get to that point where you've, you've sort of hit that interest limit with the road in the game. You understand what I'm saying? You've sort of hit that... Um, you know, you've kind of, it's not developing anymore. People are going to start to lose interest in it. It's going to be like, okay, this is not getting better. Like, and then eventually it's just going to go back to the way the game was before. I'm just telling you that's what's going to happen. I'm just telling you. Because once you cut off development on something that needs development, a road in this game needs development big time. Like, bad. Like, it's got to have cushion to the dirt. It's got to have where 
It can really make ruts up jump faces and wear down jump faces properly without making those crazy weird kickers and being able to make multiple ruts and not the singular burns in the corners and making proper terrain deformation on whoops and rollers and that whole kind of thing. And, uh, you know, being able to make it to where it's not so spliced and janky feeling whenever you go in an eroded corner, all that kind of stuff has to actually be developed. You know what I mean? It's got to actually be developed for the game engine. And the developer of the game has already came out and said on the forums that the game was just not made for it. So it is what it is like. I don't know, man. They've really tried to do some crazy experimentation with things that, you you know, even the developer of the game wasn't even really trying to push and wasn't even really trying to do in the game. I mean, they've done some crazy things in this game the past two and a half years. Um, so it'll be interesting to see where they can, where it goes, but I just really feel like we have basically just burned two years of pro racing in this game. That's what it feels like to me. Um, it, it just, it just does not, these tracks just do not capture what the tracks used to capture back in the day. They don't, they really don't. It's like, you can't pick up as much speed on the motocross tracks. They're just, it's just a whole different thing now. It's a whole different thing. So, but at the end of the day, they're just not as fun. And it's really just that simple to me. Um, have have there been the, the, you know, the rare occasion where, you know, I've done some sort of a pro race on a national or supercross track with the road and it's been a decent experience? Yeah, there has. There's been probably a handful of those over the past two and a half years where it's like, you know what, that race wasn't too bad. You know, whatever, like they just happen to get that a road level perfect and whatever. But what I'm talking about is as a whole, it's just nowhere near to how much fun the game was and the pro racing experience and how professional everything was and the, you know, just what everything was back in 2017 and before. It's just not, it's not even that at all anymore. Like, I don't even know what it is now. Where, where did all that go? It's just so like, so lost in the abyss. I don't know, man. I don't know, but it, it, you know, it's not me hating a road. It's not me, oh my God, I can't handle these tracks. You know, what? whatever kind of little ideas you get in your head, that's not what it is. At the end of the day, all, all it really comes down to is this is just not as fun to me. It's not, period. Um, and, and all of the lag issues in the pro racing that we've had to go through with the road over the past two years, the pros have not even come close to outweighing the cons when it comes to a road, not even close, you know, having to run a road and qualifying and how many times they've had to just totally, you know, redo qualifying right after doing qualifying because it didn't count any of the laps and, you know, the, the lag and trying to change the road setting between races and trying to change what level of pre-made versus a road that they're doing. It's just been such a hassle. It's been such a headache. It's been such a, such a, you know, kink in the game's life cycle to me. It's just been such a weird, it certainly hasn't just made the game flourish or, oh my God, MX Simulator is so much better now, or you would see it in the numbers. You know, if it was what some of you boys claim it to be, what some of you road fanboys claim all this shit to be and the game needs it and, oh my God, you got to have it, then you would have 300 people signing up in every class for the pro racing. I promise you, you would. If it's what you say it is, you would have 200 to 300 people signing up for each individual class in the pro racing. And they literally barely even had 40 people for the last half of the Supercross rounds this year. And the lowest, the lowest turnout for an Anaheim one I've ever seen in the 450 class. They had like 60 people in the 450 class. Like it, it is, if it was so amazing, the numbers would prove it, dog. Numbers don't lie. They don't. And the developer of the game doesn't lie. He's telling you all these things. 
that I'm saying about a road in this game. He's telling you this stuff now. It's like, dude. And it's proved my point this whole time. Some of you boys just can't accept it. You can't. The proof's in the pudding. It's it's all there in the pudding, dog. I've been I've been saying things two years in advance on these games and these systems and everything to this stuff. I've been saying all this years in advance. I never get tired of being right, I tell you that, bro.